Today, we are gonna share with you the absolute best social media management tool that we have tested thoroughly throughout the entire internet. Now, I can tell you that we've used a lot of social media management tools in the past and none have compared to this. And here at Our Automated Marketer, we only promote things that we use and this is a significant game changer in our social media content and also our management of all of our social media sites. Now, I invited the actual people from Social V to go over the entire benefits and features of this powerful tool. And I guarantee you, if you just watch this, you'll be completely amazed about all the cool things it does. And we want to recommend it to you. And if you're completely impressed with all the benefits and features that this particular tool does, then go ahead and click on the link below and make sure you secure your free trial. So without further ado, let's take a look at this awesome, powerful tool. I'm Anka from Social V, and today I'll be going over a few of the major features that you can take advantage of in your Social V account. If you're not familiar with Social V yet, we're a social media management tool that can help you create, schedule, and analyze your content across different social media channels to help you get more leads with less effort. So let's dive into it. You're currently looking at the dashboard. This is where you would connect all of your social media channels in order to have them all in one place. You can connect everything from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google My Business, YouTube, and TikTok. You'll be able to see that each profile has their own little set of shortcuts together with a way for you to manage what time zone they're posting in and whether they're posting at all. Social Beast menu is split in between the main actions that you can take in Social B, starting with the content menu. This is where you'll be able to create and organize your content. Content without a category, which is a queue-based system, it's the place where you want to schedule each individual post at a specific date. If you want to use something more advanced, you can use the category-based system, which is everything else that you see on the screen. You'll get three main advantages. Number one, you get to organize your content into categories and always have in front of you the pillars that you're using in your content strategy. Number two, you can create a balanced content mix, making sure that you avoid audience fatigue. And number three, you can requeue and repurpose content that's not time sensitive so that you don't have to write the same thing over and over again, creating a post manually. You can do so very easily by clicking on the add post button here at the top. You can select the platforms that you want to include your content onto and then continue with creating your content. You can add your caption from scratch add visuals directly from your computer or work with Canva directly in your social V account or use any of the other integrations that we have. You can also use the AI assistant to generate both captions and images. Let's go ahead and generate a caption. Here you'll be able to use one of the many prompt templates that you have at your disposal to help you get started. You can even brainstorm ideas by using the random prompt selector here or you can just type in or paste your existing prompt. So for me, I'm using a rewrite feature to create a caption from a testimonial that Social B already got. I'll be able to use the tone of voice that I want, which is friendly, choose the number of words that I want my content to have, as well as add hashtags or emoji into my posts. And then I'll just click on generate and wait for the AI to work its magic. So now that we have our caption, let's go ahead and add a link as well to generate a link preview that becomes clickable on the platforms that allows it. On the platforms where this is not possible, we'll be able to change it by customizing this post for each profile. And on Instagram, I had a link which is not something that Instagram agrees with at the moment. So I will be able to upload a video or an image directly from my computer to replace that. The ability to choose whether my post goes out as a feed post, as a story, as a reel or whether it goes to both my feed and my reels tab. You can post it immediately across all platforms. You can add specific posting times multiple or you can add a category and make sure that category gets scheduled. You'll also be able to choose whether the post gets requeued or not. So in case you want to repurpose and reuse this post, make sure this feature is turned on. Then you'll also have the option to expire your post. Different options there, whether you want it to expired after it's been published a number of times or at a specific date. 
you can just save it either as approved or as a draft in case you need to review it later. Import content in bulk, starting with importing CSV files, links, or media files, using RSS feeds to import content automatically from your website or from your YouTube, or using more advanced integrations as well. Store your hashtags in collections so that you have them ready to use for whenever you're creating new content, and a content approval screen to help you review, edit, and approve any posts. The second action you can take in Social Bee is scheduling to set up a weekly schedule throughout your categories. You can see the schedule in one of two ways, compact or calendar view, but the information stays the same. You'll be able to filter for individual categories or individual profiles, also able to see some statistics, helping you understand your content mix better. You can always add new posting times and selecting the platform that you want to include your content on and then selecting the category that you want and the days and time you want to include it on as well. You'll be able to see what's next in line to get published by going to your next post menu and here you'll see per profile you have a list view, a calendar view, and a grid preview which is only available for Instagram. Starting with the list view, this is the most detailed view that you'll see of your next posts. It's pretty much a list of everything that you have scheduled and ready to go out. Calendar view, which is more of an overview, it can help you identify any categories where you still don't have any content scheduled. Grid preview, which is specific to Instagram, so that you can get a better understanding of what's next in line to get published on your Instagram and how will it look on your feed. The analytics module, which will help you check how everything is performing. This will be per profile, so you'll be able to select the profile you want to see information for, as well as the time frame you want to see this information for. Page analytics will give you more insights on how your page is performing together with demographics, follower count, and when your audience is online. You'll be able to see a breakdown of how your posts are performing in the post analytics tab here, going into average reach per post, the best type of content that you have out there, an evolution of your post and an evolution of your reach, as well as a breakdown of your category metrics and different post type metrics that you have as well, which include a best time to post for that type of content. You'll then have some deeper insights, which are going to look at how your content gets distributed throughout the day. For instance, we have the zero click content category here, which is meant for engagement and a most engagement filter, making sure that we have the best time to schedule the engagement category to generate the most engagement possible. Below that, you'll also have your top performing content for the time frame that you've selected, starting with top three categories, top three post types, as well as top three individual posts. Post history of everything that's been published through Social Bee or outside of Social Bee. You'll be able to filter by best performing, worst performing, chronological order. You'll also have a button to reuse this post and bring it back into your categories so that you can use it again and again. You can always export it by using the PDF export in the analytics module. Here you can upload a logo and add a summary and then select the type of information that you want to include in your um, report. You can then download this as a PDF. Finally, we're also working on a social monitoring tool that will help you monitor and manage your online mentions and your comments across different platforms. If this short overview made you curious, I encourage you to go to app.socialbee.com and open up a free trial so that you can try this tool for yourself.